guys, it's Kenzie. Welcome back. I am going to keep this intro really short and sweet, but I wanted to just show my face on here and introduce myself to anyone who is new. My name is Kenzie. Hi. And today we're going to be decorating my living room for spring. I know it's not quite springtime yet, but honestly, I'm so sick of this cold weather that I'm just trying to manifest the warm weather to come in. So we're going to do that by decorating our house. I cannot wait to show you guys how it turned out and let's get right into the video. So here's what we're starting with. I took all the decor off of the floating shelves to give us a blank canvas to work on. I gathered all of what I consider spring decor that was in my house and I put it in a pile on my couches. That way I can see all of my options in front of me when I'm decorating and make it a lot easier for me to choose which pieces I want to go wear. Let's start with the floating shelves. I know I want to incorporate this beachy picture and I want this to act as our main focal point for this area. So I'm going to place it in the middle and I'm going to work around it. Then I'm going to place this lamp to the side of it towards the front to give this focal point a little bit more dimension. I'm also going to place this blossoming thyme plant in this paper mache like pot on the other side to make it a little bit more symmetrical. I felt like it needed a little something extra, so I'm getting this aged wooden bowl spoon thing that I got from McGee & Co and just placing it up against the picture and the lamp to finish off that side. I'm also adding a candle and a candle wick cutter to finish off this side and that's it. I know it doesn't look like much right now, but when we do the rest of the shelves, it will look a lot more filled in and complete. I want the colors in this painting to correspond with the accent colors in the rest of the room, and I think that because this picture has its own little moment here, it's just going to really pop along with the other accents. Now let's move on to the other shelves. I love starting with books when I don't know where to start. I'm going to place two different coffee table books and stack them on top of each other. I'm also going to add this blue and white checkered box. I love how the subtle light blue matches with the beach picture down below almost perfectly. I actually DIY'd this little wooden pedestal a while ago and I think it's going to add the perfect rustic touch to these shelves. I love to mix old looking decor with new to add a little more character to my home. I'm playing around with different styling options here. I'm not going to know if I like it until I see it so I always like to change things around as I'm decorating. I decided to leave the shelf like this for now but trust me I'll be coming back to it later. Moving on to the top shelf, I'm going to start by adding some books to the corner. This is diagonal to where I stack the coffee table books on the lower shelf, so it adds a little bit of symmetry and it evens out the square shape of the books. I got this cute little thistle arrangement from Target and I love the subtle pink in the leaves. I think it's perfect for adding some subtle color for the springtime. I'm using this as a bookend to anchor the books. This corner can be tricky because as you can see, the ceiling is different heights right here, but since the ceiling is so high in this corner, I'm going to add some height with this whitewashed cutting board and I'm going to layer this with this arch picture frame of my family and I. I feel like we needed another bigger floral arrangement for this corner, so I got this round textured vase with some speckled detail on it and I put these white wispy flower stems in it and I just spread them out so they look a little bit more sparse. I like how it adds a little more life to this corner, but it doesn't look too crowded because of the space between the branches. Now I'm placing two woven canisters to add more texture and to fill in this empty space on this shelf. And now we're back to the middle shelf because for some reason I just wasn't feeling this. So I got this golden cement planter and I put the gold vase inside of that to help hold the hydrangea stems because the opening of this planter is so wide. So this will just help keep the stems in place. I'm also placing this gold plant spritzer right next to it to give it the effect that it's actually real, if that's even possible. Now that the shelves are done, it's time to move on to the mantle. I'm taking this wooden dough bowl that I always use on the mantle and I'm going to create a little spring arrangement with this. I'm just using some stems that I already had around the house. So I have eucalyptus, baby's breath, and this brown weed looking thing. 
So I'm just cutting some green planter foam and I'm gonna place three of these in a row inside the dough bowl. Now I'm gonna start cutting these stems up so I can stick them into the foam individually. This way I can control exactly where they go and adjust them as needed. It was way easier for me to do it this way than to try to arrange them with the stems being whole because I did try that way and it just wasn't working out. So we're doing it like this so we have a little more control of the arrangement. I'm starting with some green stems because this is gonna act as my filler greenery. So I'm just gonna put a few of these eucalyptus in and then I'm gonna work around it with the other flowers and just build it up until I think it looks good. Now we're going to do this little reading nook bench section area. And a little tip for you when you're dealing with throw pillows, get pillow covers for your winter seasons so you can just put it right over the pillows you use year round and when it's time to take it off, it's so much easier to store away a cover than a big pillow. And it's so much cheaper this way too. I'm adding a white pillow with blue stripes and a white, blue, and floral pillow as well. These coordinate super well with our focal point beach picture on the other side. I'm also adding this white throw blanket to the blanket ladder as well as this light blue one. I love the muslin texture on this throw and the white fringe detail on the ends is just so pretty. Now I'm just gonna straighten up the couches and rearrange the pillows. I'm getting rid of our leather accent pillows because those were just a little bit too fall-like for me. So I'm sticking with the lighter neutrals and the light blues, and I think it looks really bright and airy, and that's exactly the look I was going for this spring. I'm gonna do a real quick speed clean of all the stuff on this ottoman because we are gonna decorate this ottoman too. So obviously it has to be clean before we can decorate it. I'm putting this vase that I got from Target as well as these stems that I got from Hobby Lobby and super simple, I'm just placing them in there and just leaving it be like that. I decided I didn't like the red dark toned wood so I replaced it with some woven placemats instead that are just a little lighter toned and a little bit better for spring. I have a little side table in this corner that was feeling a little bit empty, so I added this big vase. And I'm also adding these giant, tall cherry blossom stems. And this piece is just gonna really make a statement and it's kind of set the tone for the whole room. I'm in love with the sparse and wispy look of these branches, and I also like how you can see the brown branches. That's really in right now, and I see a lot of designers using these big statement vases with these kind of twig-like branches, and I just love that look, and I think it looks so cute. So, we're done. Here is uh, the, here's the living room.
and that's it what did you guys think please let me know in the comments i would love to have a chat with you i'd love to talk to you guys in the comments and just have conversations about styling your home or stories about your life i just think it's so interesting and i love to talk to you guys so say hi in the comments and be sure to subscribe if you're new here give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this and we'll see you in a few days with a new one bye